Blackpink's Lisa launches her personal agency after departure from YG Entertainment. Blackpink's Lisa has announced the establishment of her own label. On the 8th of February, Lisa announced the establishment of her personal label, LLOUD, through her social networking service, SNS. Lisa described the label as a platform where she can show her vision for music and entertainment, and asked for participation in this exciting journey of exploring new boundaries. Prior to this, on the previous day, the 7th, Lisa posted a post on her SNS with the caption, the 8th of February 2024 coming soon, arousing curiosity about her future activities. Lisa has already received a lot of attention regarding her contract renewal even during Blackpink's activities. It was reported that various agencies from different regions, including Southeast Asia, sent her large amounts of love calls. Although Blackpink, which Lisa is a part of, recently renewed their group contract with YG Entertainment for group activities, they did not sign individual activity contracts. Earlier, Jenny announced the establishment of her own label, Odd Atelier, she has been expanding her range of activities, including appearing on the upcoming TVN variety show, Apartment 404 Feet which will be first broadcast on the 23rd. Lisa from Blackpink launches new label rapper and singer Lalisa Manibal, better known as Lisa from global K-pop sensation Blackpink, has recently launched her new label, LLOUD. In the singer's Instagram post also shared on the label's account, Lisa announced the new artist management company with a black and white photo of her wearing a suit and tie ensemble along with a fierce look. Introducing LLOUD, a platform to showcase my vision in music and entertainment. Join me on this exciting journey to push through new boundaries together, the post's caption read. On LLOUD's Instagram account, there are various black and white photos of Lisa posted a few days prior to the new label's launch. In its official website, the label defines itself as the fusion of sound and innovation. At LLOUD, our passion as an artist management company is to create experiences that transcend genres and connect generations. Our core lies in relentless innovation and a commitment to authenticity. We're not just pushing boundaries, we're redefining them, crafting chart-topping and genre-defying music, its statement on the website said. Last December, YG Entertainment, the entertainment agency handling Blackpink, had announced that the four members of the girl group had renewed their contracts for group activities and did not proceed with a contract for individual activities. Recently, Lisa performed at the La Gala des Pieces Johns alongside French music producer DJ Snake, where she also performed with the Orchestra La Maru. From Jenny to Lisa, Blackpink empowers women in male-dominated K-pop industry. Blackpink are pioneering a new wave for women in the male-dominated K-pop industry with Jenny and Lisa's actions. Previously on February 8, Blackpink's Lisa announced her new personal label, LLOUD. With the label, Lisa will have more freedom with regards to her individual schedules, showing her true color with future activities. Prior to Lisa, fellow Blackpink member Jenny also established her own label, Odd Atelier, back in late 2023. Jenny and Lisa's new labels not only signals the two's new path regarding their own careers, but may also have kick-started a new wave for the K-pop industry. In particular, a post about Jenny and Lisa in the male-dominated K-pop industry was published on the SNS platform X, formerly Twitter, gaining significant attention with over 160,000 views and 10,000 likes. The post pointed out how the K-pop industry is male-dominated, with men holding most key positions in management, production, and decision-making, whilst female artists often suffer from more restrictions and encounter less opportunities. Therefore, by establishing their own labels, Jenny and Lisa are putting themselves in administrative space, making decisions by themselves and for themselves. They will have more freedom regarding their image and music, as well as stand as models for future generations of female K-pop stars. In fact, there have been many cases of male idols founding their own companies, but the same cannot be said for female idols. Jenny and Lisa's cases may finally switch up this sad trend. Blackpinks with their impressive influence and reputation, are using these to empower women in a male-dominated K-pop world. On the other hand, the K-pop industry has been seeing significant improvements as women are stepping up one by one. From Boa becoming an executive at SM, Min Hee Jin standing out as the CEO of Adore, to G. Idolise Soyeon establishing her standing as a producer, the future is brighter than ever.